on in. Back. Monday morning. Got to do a load today. I'm getting that to, to back right, hanging that up. And, uh, emptying some beds and covering some water to board. Because uh, we're not there planting anything else in them big beds now. So, kettle is on. So, we'll see you in a bit. What a lovely day today. <coughs> I'm going to leave that tobacco room because uh, it's not September yet, thinking about it, and it's still going out. I thought it was ready, but it's not. It's got some massive leaves on. It's nice and healthy. So. And sticky, so I'm gonna leave it anyway. So I'm weeding in here. Got two corks, scabber leaves off bottom of that cabbage, some bonnet cabbage in there, and uh, I'll just sprinkle it on this bed because we're not using it now. So I won't cover it up with cardboard. So I'll put that on first and then cover it with cardboard where it's not want not. Make its own compost over winter, and uh, I'll do the same with this bed in here. That broccoli's gone now. So I'll just chop that up, take them flowers out obviously, chop the rest up and uh, cover it with cardboard. Something's had them lettuce to you. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'll get them done. Just filling out water butts up. <coughs> just clean that pond out. Just full of that green weed there. Just scrape it out with cans, uh, where is it? There it is. Cans riddle. Riddle my riddles. Just filling out water box now and then I'm going to... These peppers. I'm belting this year and here these. I suffered a bit last year. But uh, I don't think with uh, much of a chance of these cucumbers for a competition because I've just seen the, the two winners. I've just seen them. First, second, third, and fourth, I think. Steve Parper, a fellow committee member, showing me how it's done. Oh, look at this melon at me. Oh, I'll have to tie this up. Is the other one gone? Down there, we'll have to tie this up. Get some more string for that. Oh, it's gonna snap. It's only all the time with that one string. I'll do that in a minute. I'll water them in a minute. Oh. That's all course in there. Tidy up a bit in here too. Well, uh, well that can come out. We're not having no more tomatoes this year, ever. But yeah, nice little plant that. It was a strip last of these tomatoes off, I think, today. And I'll this last row at top. Take all them bottom ones off because they're, uh, they're splitting now and going a bit. They come off. They... That plant's finished now anyway, that can come out of two one out there. Getting to the end of it now. I know it's a bit early like it's not September yet, but it's been a funny old year for growing. Everything sprouted on dead early, a month early. So beds are emptying a bit quicker but it don't matter. Give us a chance to get some jobs done. I'm going to pick some wood up from our kins in a bit because I'm going to redo a few of these beds over at winter. I'll uh, rain that proper and that one at back. I've already got a bit already. Been collecting like a kid at bombing out. But winter me with wood. Been collecting bits here. So all these bits what need tidying up inside there and that. Can do all them over at winter. I have nothing to do. 
be nice and ready, kicked off ready for next winter, uh, next summer, spring. Jumping it out of myself. I'm sweet corn ready for coming out. I've got yellow cobs on, yellow kernels. I've just done this bed in here. And these two beds. Just need a bit more cardboard for that edge. I can walk on that now. Yeah, that one's, I don't know what that is. That's a runt. It's a different kind altogether. These here, let's get around there. Oh, I need to get that nettle out there, look at that. Let's have a gander, see if I can do it with one hand. There you go. Look at them beasts. Beautiful. I'll take a couple of them today. I'm going to take some off and we'll take us some at caravan. I'm going to have some of them at barbecue. So we'll freeze them up and take them for the caravan. But yeah, I'll get a couple of them off. <coughs> so that one's done. This one's done. I'm going to leave that where that lies. Sorry, where that lamb is. And uh, let's go give everything a good water. And that kettle's on anyway. Ba boom. We're back here. Because uh, I did all that this morning. So I've not much to do, but I'll have a look at that tomorrow. So I've just been finishing this pond off. Finish it. Finish it pointing round there. So that's what I've been doing this afternoon. It's all about finish now. Put some more plants in that corner, put some uh, rose of Sharon in. I dug up from the bottom down there. Now my next job this week is uh, I'll do all these gaps in here. So I think this has been down about three years now, two or three years since I put this down. So these gaps have all gone. But it's not sand and cement for that, it's uh, this special stuff 25 quid for a tub and last about well, I suppose last 10 years, but it lasted two years. It's just a jointing compound, restless him today. It's warm again. He wants to go for a walk, but it's a bit warm yet. Wait till it cools down. Shirley's made me a shepherd's pie, so I've just put it in oven. So I'm having that for my tea. Anyhow, uh, doing a lot more to allotment tomorrow. I've got loads to do this week. Uh, we're going to try, me and Ken's going to try and go and see Henry because he's still in hospital. Well, apparently, I've not spoken to him, but he's, the lad in my shop was ringing him today when I was in. And uh, he's got a bit of movement back in his hand, so <laughs> belting. So we'll have to go and see him this week, but. Uh, Ken's got stuff to do as well, so I think we'll go and try to see him Thursday or Friday, so we'll let you know how he's going on. But, uh, see you tomorrow, Colotman. Cheer up, Bobby. <laughs>